Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and it is officially 2024. So I wanted to come on down and show you some of the things that we have to look forward to at Disney Springs for the new year. And then also try the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and compare it to Summer House on the Lake, the new cookie spot here at the Springs. So we're gonna eat some cookies, do some shopping, and then hop on a flight and fly to New Orleans and have some beignets. Anywho's, let's go do this. Yes, I just said we are gonna hop on a flight and go to New Orleans to get some beignets. I figured I would uh, add in a little travel day vlog. So we're gonna get some cookies here at Disney Springs, go home, pack a bag, and then uh, go to New Orleans. And I'll bring you guys along with me. But look at this view, isn't she a beaut, Clark? I don't normally get to Disney Springs this late. It's almost, uh, I think almost six o'clock actually. Uh, so the sun's gonna be starting to set, uh, but we do have our flight to catch. And I'm so excited because we're gonna actually see the sunset and the sunrise kind of all in one video. Disney Springs still has their Christmas decorations up. It's January 3rd right now, uh, and it's okay. I kind of like that. In fact, uh, I probably would do Christmas for another week. I'm going to New Orleans with Roosevelt, and I'm going to be at the Fan Expo uh, this Saturday, January 6th, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. I'm going to be doing a little meet and greet right at Roosevelt's booth. I think it's booth number uh, 815. And uh, yeah, swing by. I'll be there 2 to 4 if you guys are in the area. I'd love to say hi. I'm just going to be hanging out. Maybe we'll grab a beignet afterwards. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's going to be an exciting trip, and uh, it's going to be cool to bring you, uh, bring you along with with me they're not doing a virtual line it's just a standby line right now so we're looking at probably I'd say about 30 minutes 30 minutes or so here is a look at the menu for January and I like the artwork Gideon's Bakehouse the, uh, this month's cookie special is the maple walnut chocolate chip that sounds amazing. I am so excited to get in on that. And also maybe I'll try the French toast nitro cold brew. A little maple on maple, that sounds good. Wow, not even 20 minutes, look at that. I love coming in here, it always smells nice. It always smells good. They even sell candles so you can make your own house smell like it. They have all the cookies and cake slices lined up. Right here is this month's special, the maple walnut chocolate chip. And look at those cake slices in there. We have obtained the goods. I got the French toast uh, cold brew, and then I got the uh, walnut maple chocolate chip cookie. I love walnuts. I love them, so. Oh, this looks, this looks so good. We, I like the banana bread cookie because it has walnuts on it. Oh, look at that. That, I would have to say, is a pretty good looking cookie, if I do say so myself. And now we gotta break into it. Oh. I knew this day was gonna come eventually, but I now have a new favorite Gideon's cookie. This is just amazing. The amount of walnuts on there, the texture, the taste, this is so good. It, it beats the banana the banana chocolate chip one for me. This is so good. Holy moly, and I picked a bad day to compare it to Summer House on the Lake because this is now my new favorite cookie. It's kind of amazing that we're sitting here in Florida eating a Gideon's cookie at Disney Springs, and then later on in this video, I'm gonna be in New Orleans, probably sitting at Cafe Du Monde eating a beignet. That's incredible we gotta try the french toast nitro cold brew first so a little cookie combo here i'm just saying if you're a big walnut fan this cookie is so good because they're not just regular walnuts on there i'm pretty sure they're candied and the cookie just like everything just flows together and add the little mapleness to it because it has maple in there mix it with the french toast uh cold brew and it's it's perfect all right, well, enough of the cookie business, or should I say, enough of the Gideon's cookie business, because we're gonna make our way down to Summer House on the Lake, and we're gonna 
talk to someone about some cookies down there. I think it's only fair if we do this cookie competition uh, not based on taste alone. You know, there's a lot of different factors that lead into, you know, a cookie competition or cookie cook-off. Uh, and uh, honestly, I, I mean, you have to put in, you know, the variety of cookies that you can get or also the time. How long does it take to get a cookie? These are important things. So I think we're going to rate the cookies off of availability, the amount, uh, so like selection, uh, timing, and uh, taste. I feel like that's perfect. And since I only got one cookie from Gideon's, I'm only gonna get one cookie from uh, Summer House on the lake, which if you guys didn't know, this is the uh, brand new restaurant here at Disney Springs. And they have a little like uh, cookie uh, bar inside. It's literally a cookie bar. Well, I have to give it to uh, Summer House on the Lake for the amount of different, you know, cookies you can get. In fact, they have them all listed right here. And they have like a big uh, glass display case. And since we got a uh, walnut cookie at Gideon's, why don't we get the chocolate chip walnut here? Walnut for walnut. Sister walnut. Oh my lord, you're wearing one of the hats? Oh my lord. Dude, oh man, <laughs> that's my first time seeing somebody wear the hat on public. Wow, that was such a core memory for me and it was so sudden. It caught me so off guard and I'm just like, why? If you don't know, I launched a uh, collection with Roosevelt's, a Paging Mr. Morrow collection. Uh, I have two shirts and a hat and uh, that was the very first time uh, I've ever seen anyone wearing any of the merchandise in public and it literally took the wind out of me. I am so shocked and thank you to anyone that bought any of the merchandise. I'm so grateful and I cannot believe it sold out so thank you guys so much. Uh, there's gonna be some more in the future hopefully and I can't wait to share some more ideas you know a little bit down the road maybe closer than that because we're actually gonna go uh, meet up with Roosevelt's in literally a couple of hours but all right Enough of that. I had to just say it was just amazing. I got the cookie. And I have to say, already I'm gonna give Summer House on the Lake uh, definitely the selection. They have way more cookies. And uh, also the time. It took me one minute to get my cookie. So now we gotta see who's gonna, who's gonna win the taste. Gideon's won, Summer House, uh, no Gideon's none because I have to actually taste it first. But I'm pretty sure that was the best cookie I've ever had. So this chocolate walnut, I mean, it's got to be the best cookie I've ever had uh, to actually beat it. Oh, wait. I mean, Linzer cookie does not count because that is not a Gideon's cookie. So, here we go. And we're going to do the cookie break. Cookie break. Already? Ow. Oh, the break was not that great. It's not soft. It had a, little, had, a little, had a little crunch or a little resistance to it. But now it's time. I'm sorry, Summer House. It's a good cookie, and uh, you know maybe next time. But this does not compare it to Gideon's. You know what I mean? Maybe it's you know if we're gonna go off of uh, uh, cookies that you know or just walnuts, they're like walnut chocolate chip cookies. Then Gideon's is way better. But overall, Summer House on the Lake won because I was able to get this cookie in one minute and uh, I could have gotten plenty of other cookies, and Gideon's, it took me 20 minutes, but it, it was the better cookie, so I guess if you want a better tasting cookie, you gotta wait, and if you want a quick cookie on the go, Summer House on the Lake is for you, but we'll keep doing this every month, and I think next month, I'll start at Summer House on the Lake and get whatever cookies from there, and get one that matches that Gideon, so I'll get their best cookie and match it versus Gideon's cookie of the month. Well, now it is enough, enough of the cookie business. And I think we're gonna head home, check on Gracie Girl, get all packed up and uh, hop on a plane. I remember I used to always point out uh, the new movies that were coming out for uh, AMC, but they haven't changed this like poster in a while. Was this the last Disney movie they put out, The Marvels? I feel like this came out a while ago and it's still like the only one that's here. I gotta know, when did this come out? November 10th, this has been here for almost two, almost, yeah, two months. Wow, I wonder if you could still watch the movie. You raise me up, 
so I can climb the mountains. You raise me up. You raise me up so I can climb the mountains. You raise me up so I can climb the mountains. Don't ask me, I don't know why I'm doing it. We are home now and I gotta pack up my bag. Our flight is at 6 a.m. so we'll take a quick nap. Wake up, catch the sunrise, head to the airport, say goodbye to Gracie, and make our way to New Orleans. I'm so excited. Like, this is such an epic thing for me. I've been to New Orleans before, actually, with Disney, and now I get to go back and uh, go with Roosevelt. This is, I mean, honestly. Gracie has a dog sitter who actually comes here and stays with her, so that way she's not away from home when I'm gone. Yeah. You gonna miss me? I know, I'll see you soon. Oh my lord, look at that smile. Look at that smile. All right, I got a couple of Z's, took a little nap, and now it's time to make our way to New Orleans. I'm so excited. I got to take Gracie out for a little uh, walk in the morning first, and then I have one errand I have to do before I make it to the airport. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go out for a walk and hit the road or get on a plane. I was hoping for a nice little sunset, but the rain kind of ruined that. It's just a rainy day in Florida. I'm happy that I'm going to New Orleans. Hope the weather's better. Gracie girl, I'm gonna miss ya. I am very close to having to change my flight so I don't miss it. I went to go fill my prescriptions last night before I hit the road, but when I went to go fill one of my prescriptions, they told me that it's 2024, so the doctor had to issue a new prescription, and I'm like, I'm leaving tomorrow. So right now, I am rope dropping Publix Pharmacy. It is 9 a.m. My flight, we changed it till 10.15. That's the departure time. I'm about 30 minutes away from the airport. So if they open up at 9 a.m., like I am sitting right outside, <laughs> the Publix uh, pharmacy before it opens like it opens at 9 a.m. and then it's a 30 minute drive to the airport and my flight departs at 10 15 so that means doors close at 10 so that gives me 30 minutes to get through security park my car and find my gate I think I'm gonna do it it is 8 55 right now 8 55 Five more minutes, nobody's in there yet. I'm so nervous. I got the text that said my prescription was ready. So I'm like, oh boy, I don't know. We might not make it. Well, I made it to the airport. Things are not looking good at Southwest for me right now. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Well, I had to change my flight. I did not make it. Well, I knew I wasn't gonna make it, but I'm not stressed out. I flew so much last year. Actually, I flew for the very first time 10 years ago. I remember I flew to Florida, and last year in 2023, I added it up, I flew 26 times last year. 26 times, you know what I mean? If you count like one fly over, one fly back, each 26 times, that's insane. That's, that, honestly, that's like average two times a month. Uh, so I'm used to it I changed flights like last minute and I was so scared the first time I remember I was there like three uh, four hours early now I show up like 30 minutes an hour and I'm good I got TSA pre-check and I got clear so I just pass all the lines but today it wasn't good enough so I'm gonna have to hop a 1040 flight and do a layover and extend uh, my travel time by two hours so that's the only downside I really do love the Orlando International Airport. Look at this. You got a nice little Disney store right at the gate. So as soon as you get off the plane, a nice little photo opportunity of Main Street USA. Isn't that so nice? I mean, I remember flying here from uh, Pennsylvania and I just loved getting here. I absolutely loved it. Oh boy, that line is very long. In fact, it actually goes to the other terminal. The line for the Terminal A is almost in Terminal B, I think, or the other side of Terminal A. Luckily, like I said, I had TSA pre-check and clear, so I even skipped the TSA pre-check line. Oh, 
I dropped my bag. Oh no. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the music. And we have made it to New Orleans. Wow, I can't even believe it. What an adventure. And now I figure, now that we're here, we're gonna kind of go out and see what's happening. Go uh, go explore the town a little bit, maybe the convention center, because that's where I'm gonna be at most of the time here. And you know, just kind of browse around a little bit. The Fan Expo is actually gonna be right here uh, at the Ernest uh, Convention Center, New Orleans. Look at that, I'll be here Saturday. Uh, I know Saturday we're doing the, the uh, meet and greet from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. January 6th, but I'll be here throughout the week just kind of roaming the halls and hanging out, you know, eating beignets and stuff. We are just about set up here at the Roosevelt's booth for New Orleans Fan Expo. Eee. Now we're gonna go out. I wanna get some beignets and coffee and some gumbo. We just had the best muffler sandwich today. You missed out on that. Hey! Well, listen, if you didn't miss both flights, you'd have been all right. They know! They I know. know I've been filming I since know. then. We are right in the front in Hall G in the 800 section. So, like I said, if you guys are going to be here in New Orleans uh, Saturday, come by and say hi. And now, uh, I think it's time to go get some beignets or just some gumbo. Something. I need, I need something Cajun or Creole. <laughs> It's not often I get to see two sunsets and a sunrise in one video, but look at how beautiful New Orleans is right now. Wow, look at that sunset. Isn't that nice? It's very nice, right? It's so nice. Oh, this is gonna be a great trip. I'm excited. We're just walking around and I don't even know what this is. Why is this here? Is this like a heater? Uh, it's not warm. It's not warm? It's just a cool spot to sit, I guess. Oh, the lighting in here is good. Scotty, look at us in where, New Orleans. Where are we? New Orleans, it, it's crazy. It's, I, it blows my mind that we just get to go to so many amazing places and this is like, get to share it with you guys, it's these right? Little, these little spots you find. I know, we're just walking around the streets here in the, what are we, in the art district, I think? And yeah. come across a nice little, well, oh, 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 whoa. This is rather artsy. This is very artsy. Hey, what did you do in New Orleans? <laughs> what did you do? I feel like I'm on a, a game show, honestly. Yeah. yeah. The last time I was in New Orleans, I was here with Disney, actually. And I did an amazing video where I went out with the Imagineers who are creating Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And I kind of retraced their footsteps. And it was really fun, but now I get to be with the Roosevelt's crew. Everyone's here. Pete, Scotty, DTH, we're all here. And even a, a new friend. Say hi. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. And some of you guys have never been here. No, I've never been. Yeah. The only people that have been here are me and Scotty, and that is the most unlikely thing ever. <laughs> and I'm a whole yeah, thing you said. <laughs> Right? <laughs> we made it. Look at this. The original coffee stand. Cafe du Monde. Oh, some beignets and coffee. That's all we need. Cash only establishment here, and I love how they have a uh, little music outside, and it's just first come, first serve for the table. So I say we'll take one over here. Follow the powdered sugar everywhere. They have a little takeout window right there, or you can go inside the restaurant itself. But I like sitting out here, it's just nice and cozy. The music. Are you guys making fun of my hand gestures? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy I wore the white shirt today because I'm probably gonna get powdered sugar all over me. <laughs> this, this may be the first time that you actually wear a shirt to get on that will actually be like, Yeah, that's what I mean. It might, like, it might be the first time it's all worked out. Yep, I could literally get powdered sugar and you really would you really couldn't tell really. Happy accident. Oh there it is. That's much too good. Oh yeah. That's the way. All right, I'm grabbing this one. And I'm not letting the powdered sugar fall off. Look at these. 
Oh, the best beignets ever. I really do love these beignets. Scotty, can you focus in on my face? Touch my face on the screen. No, 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 no. Like on the camera. We gotta touch my face. Oh, wait. There it is. All right, here we go. Not a mess, not a mess. That's a mess. <laughs> I probably should have worn my white pants. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna have to shake it off. Shake it off. I'm a maniac, maniac. I just said it. Ah! <laughs> it's called the it's called the hunch. The hunch? It's called the hunch. You lean over and you just take it. It all falls down. I'm the dick, I'm just This thing is snow on everybody. Enough of the beignet business. We made our way down to Acme Oyster House. <laughs> Gotta wait outside for this one. I have been here before, but I never showed you guys before. I, I can't wait to get the uh, the sampler. They got a little sampler plate in there that comes with gumbo, jambalaya, red beans, and sausage. Here it is, the New Orleans medley. Little gumbo, little jambalaya, little red beans and rice. And a little sausage. A little sausage. Are you guys still making fun of my hand gestures? Acme Oyster is actually phenomenal. I'm not a big oyster guy, uh, but uh, they're uh, like charred oysters. So garlicky, so garlicky and buttery. I love it. And uh, the New Orleans medley was great. I like the jambalaya better than the gumbo. There's a lot of better like gumbo spots like in the area. If you want oysters, this is the place to come though. One of my favorite things about New Orleans is when you walk around, you can just hear music coming out of almost every door. Look at how nice this is. And the night is young. It's going to get crazy down here. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to partake in that. We got a big day tomorrow. We got a big day. It's the start for the New Orleans Fan Expo. So I think we're going to call it a night. But first, bread pudding. I need a little sweet treat. I need uh, something to add to my list of Gideon's cookies, beignets, gumbo, jambalaya, sausage, and oysters. <laughs> look at them back there with the fresh oysters. Ah, looking too good. This whole place is just fun atmosphere. I'm a sucker for bread pudding, I tell you that. Look at this. Lots of caramel. Acme was so good and we weren't gonna actually go out but we decided we wanted to go over to a really cool bar and I wanted to show you guys uh, because it's actually a carousel bar it's a bar that's a carousel and you sit down at it yeah you, you sip on some Sazeracs and you just spin round and round and you don't realize you're moving until you get up and then it all hits you so I wanted to show you this really cool bar and it's in a fancy hotel too the bar is located in the Montolion. I feel like this is such a fancy hotel. Look at this in here. When I first walked in, I was like, oh, look at all these knickknacks. Look at all these knickknacks. Brass monkey. This hotel is so beautiful. Look at this in here. And then the carousel bar is actually right in here. The carousel lounge. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that so cool? Oh, huh. They're playing Star Wars music, did you hear it? And look, you sit down on the chairs and it just rotates slowly. I know, I was like, yo! I have a body I, I, have, I, I read it on a couple flights, like 80 pages in. And like, yeah, but it's like, it's, and, and I'm reading a book, and it's like, Nick is talking, and Andrew and Aries talking, and I'm reading so much more, they were in Bayside, they're talking they about what's going on, and you got like,
That's my hand. Look at how cool this is. We've been spinning around here for hours and they got a nice little band over there. It's going round and round. If you don't sit down and you just stand on the floor, you can watch your friends just leave. Goodbye. I'll never forget you. And with that, we are back at the hotel. And it's been a long day, so I think I am calling it a night. I had so much fun. This was so adventurous. Like, I was sitting at home thinking, you know what? I'm going to make a Disney Springs video, and then I'm going to go to New Orleans. And I'm only here in New Orleans just for the weekend. Today's probably going to be my only video that I'm going to be able to make uh, because I have my meet and greet on Saturday. And then uh, Friday, I'm shooting video with Roosevelt so if you want to see more New Orleans like videos uh, you can check out the Roosevelt's channel I've been uploading some videos over there uh, with the whole entire crew and it's kind of a little behind the scenes of you know what we do when we come to the cities and we go to the fan expos and the comic cons and the shows and stuff like that and uh, it's kind of it's fun because like you know, everyone works hard at Roosevelt's, like the, the whole entire crew, they're in at the booth and then they, uh, you know, they spend hours. I remember San Diego Comic Con, <laughs> the first time we all went together, it was like awesome because we were all there every single day, like 10 hours. Like it was so crazy busy and it was the first one so we never knew what to expect and here we are like almost three years later, three years, it's almost three years that we've been just like touring the country and world. Like with Roosevelt's me and man, I've made so many great friendships and memories and I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to share them. So like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to make a video. I'll make a video with Roosevelt's. Then I'm going to do my meet and greet. Please, if you guys are in the area, I would love to see some people in New Orleans. This is one of my favorite cities. I think it'd be so cool. And, you know, like I said, I would love to get together and have maybe some beignets or, oh, you know what? We're actually having a pizza party, too. Yeah, we're doing a pizza party with Pizza Beard, uh, Jake. So that's going to be fun. I mean, either way, I mean, if you come over, it's a real good convention. It's got tons of shops, tons of things that you can buy. And, uh, yeah, I like it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Gideon's cookies, New Orleans beignets, gumbo, jambalaya, bread pudding, cookies, had summer house on the lake. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> so, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! I have been in a lot of hotels in my life. And they always come with great amenities. You know, you have an ironing board, an iron. This little thing is where you uh, set your suitcase up, a little dresser in there or a safe, clothes hangers, all of those things are great amenities and something you always wanna see in your room. But one thing you don't wanna see, or maybe something that is just extra fancy, is uh, toenail clippers. I don't know if uh, they give these out or if they were just left here on accident. But if it is a part of the room and this is just a great amenity, kudos to you, hotel. If not, I'm probably going to go wash my hands now. <laughs>